What is up everybody, it's your boy Duty back again with another video and yes, your boy Duty took a little break this weekend, not too much content, your boy was up in New York, hanging out with the family, doing Comic Con, that's right, New York Comic Con, it was a lot of fun, by the way, tomorrow I will be streaming and uh, I'll talk a little bit about my adventures in New York and chilling at Comic Con, but anyway, let's get down to business, what is going on everybody, it's your boy Duty back again with another video and this time we're taking a look at our boy dsp's daily rap after oh my lord a pathetic a pathetic day of streaming from phil it was so bad folks that he didn't hit the tip goal twice i mean excuse me the dent streak twice the dent streak failed twice but he was so goddamn pathetic that he can't let it go and of course he can't he can't give the trolls a win just like with derek remember i can't give the trolls a win they can't give the detractors a win so he actually fake tipped himself twice. That's right. Some anonymous tipper tipped exactly how much money he needed to get the 150. He is so goddamn pathetic. Pathetic, Phil. And for what exactly? Anyway, let's get into it. I have a lot to say. Uh, this clip was like 13 minutes long. I cut it down to about five minutes because no one really cares. Uh, let's get into it, folks. Okay. Then... Oh, by the way, we did hit the streak last minute. Like, we were down to the wire at the very end of the stream, and someone dropped a Hail Mary tip, and we continued with the streak, so it went to 26, okay? Remember, we have a reward coming up at 36. If we hit 36, I'm going to be going to Crave Cookies, which is a gourmet cookie uh, place right nearby me, and I'm going to buy a box of variety cookies. I'm going to dress up like Cookie Monster, and I'm going to eat them on stream. Not all of them. I'm going to taste them on stream and let you know what I think. Like a taste test, like a DSP tries it, okay? So that's our reward for this week if we get through to 36 streak of support. So... We hit the goal. We continue on. Tonight, WWE Champions. I'm going to stop it right here because you notice he just moved on as quickly as possible. Didn't want to bring up any attention to it. Didn't want to talk about it. It was just, oh, yeah, some generous person came and just donated. If you didn't watch the stream, it was such a pathetic thing. He goes, all right, guys, well, I guess I'm going to tune out. We're not going to hit the goal. Uh, it's a shame you know the whole guilt trip right and then he goes oh, oh oh wait a minute this literally him oh wait a minute i i got oh my god i got an anonymous tip for 41 or whatever it was 71 dollars and we hit the gold streak oh my god he did the whole coffers thing he even threw duty's name into it and then literally as soon as that was done like 10 seconds later, he's like okay i gotta go by and he left you can clearly see that he's just fucking lying He's lying with these fucking fake tips just to hit the dent streak. For what? So that, of course, he can order DoorDash and, and, and have an excuse to fucking gorge like a pig. Like, it, it's it's becoming a fetish. Phil, it's becoming a fetish. Like, I, what is it? Uh, like, uh, people speculate that you're a feeder, that you feed Cat, and that's why she's, she's pretty robust. Um, and you just have a, you know, that's kind of like your kink. And I'm starting to believe that you're like a feeder. So not only do you like feeding the misses, right? You like eating and making people watch you gorge like a disgusting pig. Maybe that's what it is. That and of course money and of course uh, everything else. But it, it could be that. It could be that you're just a feeder, dude. You have some type of fetish. And again, we can't discount the fact that he's just pathetic like that. And of course, he can't give... He said it himself. I can't give the trolls a win. I can't give the detractors a win. Even if it's uh, not hitting the dent streak or defending a PDF like Derek, right? We, we know he's done it before, so there's nothing new. And we all know, let's not forget the famous clip of Phil saying, well, you don't actually know what I'm really getting. I could be fake tipping myself. How many times has Phil said that in the past, right? So... Your boy Duty's calling him right here. He did not hit the, the dent streak twice. I'm sorry he missed it. Support was slow. Support was dead. The Velcro wallets dried up. I'm sorry, Phil. It's not always going to be like this. And you just need to accept it. You need to be okay with it. You need to be okay that your uh, renaissance, that you like to call it, has been dead for weeks, Phil. No one cares. That's why no one wants to come onto your uh your podcast to do an interview that's why no one is asking you to be on their podcast dude you're barely scratching 300 viewers on your stream and i mentioned the whole streamer thing because of course you scoffed at the fact of having duty on your podcast dude what what would i have the game to go on your shitty ass podcast where you stream to 300 people dude 
what exactly would I have to gain? My streams, I average 800 people on my streams and just talking about random bullshit. And I have what? Uh, wh what else do I get? My views are just skyrocket. You get 200 views and I'm getting over 10,000 views per video, Phil. So again, exactly, who's the one that would benefit from having a certain someone on their stream? You would be the one that benefits, Phil. So of course, Phil, Phil has too much pride to actually acknowledge that the detractor has more clout than his boring ass self. But you know what, folks? You have to be honest with yourself. If you really want, you know, things to get better, you need to be honest, be open and upfront, admit everything, and then try to do better. But of course, Phil's not there yet. He still wants to live on this delusion that he's this popular guy and everyone likes him. Dude, no one likes you, man. No one does. People tolerate you because you're just fun to make. You're, you're just you're just a clown show. That's why Kino still has you around. That's why Kino isn't cl uh, uh, clamoring to have you on their show every fucking night. Dude, you're you're just a fucking sideshow. When the Kino folks get bored and there's nothing else going on, let's let's trout out fucking let's trout out Phil and, and mock him and and meme against him and he won't even understand what the fuck's going on. Anyway, pathetic, 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 Phil. You really need to fucking give up this gimmick, man. Come up with something new, fresh, something, something interesting, man. Cause this dang streak shit and you, you know, willing to eat f that shit is fucking corny, brother. And it's so pathetic that now he has to offer up dressing like a fucking muppet. Not only am I gonna eat fast food if I hit the goal. If you give me two thousand dollars. I'm going to dress up like a fucking Muppet on stream for everyone. Dude, if that's not sad or pathetic, man, I don't know what the fuck is sad or pathetic. Because that's from that's some that's some wild shit, Phil. That's some very wild shit that you that you have to offer up dressing like a Muppet just to get some people to throw some change your way. <sighs> Let's keep going because the night stream was even worse. All right. On my honest opinion, I think number one, people had no idea I was playing it tonight, even though I told everyone I was playing it tonight. I think people were under the impression I was going to play it yesterday, and I didn't because I was off. We had not as much attendance as usual for WWE Champions. It was way low. Like last time I played Champions on uh, you know on Kick, we got over 100 viewers. Tonight we barely had 70. Uh, same thing YouTube. Like usually we have over two, three hundred viewers. We had like barely 200. So definitely the attendance was down, and because of that, the support was down. We did not hit the goal tonight. We ended the stream. I had 101 dollars in contributions okay so there was no mega pull there was a lot of gameplay i played the zombie tours we actually did other tours that allowed us to get in a situation where we can league up and stuff like that but there was no pulls instead we had a lot of conversation and to be honest i think the conversation was good there was some trolls for the most part it was a fun night and a lot of chill vibes and a good time so i ended the stream and i said all right guys it's all right the streak has ended in fact here's here's where we were at the end okay just to show you if i could find it ah yes dead air this is where we were at the end of the stream as I'm starting the daily wrap, I get a dollar and one cent tip from someone who said, let's go, anonymously, no name attached. And I kid you not, I just typed that wrong. I received a $49 tip from someone who says, Reforge Gaming saved the street. This is someone who apparently is interested in, in uh, having me on their show. I guess it's a podcast. Now, I'm not saying that I'm going on it at all. I don't even know who they are. I said they were going to contact me about it. But they tipped $49. Which means, ladies and gentlemen, it's official. We did hit the street tonight. Albeit late, but we did hit the street tonight. We're now at 27, and the street continues. Now, it sucks, because this is way too late, and I'm not doing a mega pull off-camera. We're done. But thank you for continuing the street. Before gaming. And again, some people will say, well, he made that up. Uh, no, I didn't. I, I wouldn't. I would have told you if it was over. I told you on the stream it was over. And then I went to do the daily wrap, and here comes the tip. The Hail Mary tip at the end. In fact, they probably were attempting for that to come in earlier, and it came in late. So, But it counts. So there you go. The street continues tomorrow. All right? So here's the deal, and this is going to be a tough one. Tomorrow actually is React Day. All right. Uh, so yeah, Phil, you are lying. You are full of fucking shit, Phil. You're full of shit, and apparently uh, you want to be full of cookies as well. Um, Yeah, bro, no one's buying it. No one's buying it. The, the Den Street ended on the first stream. Everyone knows that you lied, bro. Everyone knows. You, you have a tell, Phil, about yourself. Most of it is because when you just open your mouth, we know you're lying, okay? This whole reforged bullshit nonsense, that's bullshit. And you know why I'm also calling it bullshit? Because the the stream ended, right? 
Someone on your podcast mentioned that you ended up getting six gifted subs on Kick, and why don't you count that towards the 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 next day the podcast, right? And you said, "What does that have to do with my stream?" No, I'm not counting it. Remember that, Phil? Remember that little bit? So again, why are you counting this tip if you got this fucking tip? Why are you counting this tip in the dent streak if if the, it has nothing to do with it? Your stream was fucking ended. It was done. And come on, brother, you're you're moving the fucking goalposts again. And it just all lends again to this to this belief that you're a liar, bro. You're a liar. You lied about WW champions. You lied about the bank leagues. You lied about your parents being sick. You lied about the 10 year plan. You just fucking lie and you can't help yourself. That's why no one believes you. That's why when anything comes out of your mouth, you should just automatically doubt anything you have to say. Just 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 assume it's a lie until proven until proven correct. That's the only way you can work with Phil. Assume he's lying and then until it comes out that he was that he was being honest, right? Then then you say, "Okay, I guess he was being honest." And that's pretty fucking pathetic. Of course, Phil will say, "Well, no, it's guilty, uh, guilty, but uh, innocent before proven guilty." No, motherfucker, those are the courts. This isn't the court. This isn't the court system, Phil. This is the court of public opinion. And the court of public opinion, right? Regardless of who you ask, whether you ask Kino, whether you ask June the King, whether you ask Keemstar, whoever the fuck you want to ask, everyone has come to an agreement that you are a liar. You lie. You are a habitual liar. And that's what makes you a low cow. Just like Boogie, just like Wings, just like